Alright, you guys seem to like this game. Uh, pretty dang hard. Freaking. I don't even know if I want to continue it, but we're once again playing some Outlast. How's it going, guys? I'm GoPed44. I think that's my name. I can't really remember. But who gives a shatner? This fetching circle will load circle of death. Look at these creepy papers in the background. This game is hard. I was trying to play some not that long ago, like an hour ago. Freaking dang, I can't get out of this basement. I was trying to just figure out where all the doors were, and then I was going to go back, but I can't figure it out. I looked up kind of what to do. I don't know where anything is yet, though. I know where the generators are, um, but once again, I really haven't played this game in a couple weeks, so forgive me. I don't know how to pull out my video camera. Okay, now how do I do night vision? All right, uh... Okay, so there's this creepy dude down here with us. Which just scares the heck out of me. Um... Alright, so let's head through this crap. Nope, wrong way. Okay, I'm scared. I The first time I played this, I really wasn't scared at all. But now I kind of am flipping out. It's creepy. Shit. Who's there? Shiz, shiz, shiz. Is he coming? Oh, that hand scared the crap out of me. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go see what we've got to turn on. <clears throat> Alright, I know where the gas pumps are. Um, I think. Yeah, one's in here. Okay, that might be the main breaker then. Uh, they're in these doors. It's not that hard to find them. But once you turn them on, this dude comes out and. Dang, he's scary. Well, you guys know that. You guys seem to have liked this. Um, it got quite a bit of views compared to some of my other videos. Uh, not quite a bit, but. Oh no, where the heck is the bed? Where the heck is the bed? So I can get the two generators every time, but um, it's always the main breaker that gets me. This game is really hard. Uh, don't get me wrong on that. Um, I don't know if I will continue it if it's gonna be really hard. I like a hard, kind of scary game, but I want to be able to beat it and not flip out and have to waste like three times as long I'm um, actually trying to figure out what to do and where to go um, as the game actually of actually time playing the game because like doing this two or three times over is fine but like I'd really prefer not to have to do it more than that and I've already done this at least ten times I know that this dude like makes his rounds um, Alright, let's check for batteries. Alright, so I always run out of batteries, which sucks. I know where some are, but I haven't actually seen them this round. Uh, Alright, so he's in there. Alright, so after you turn on the first two pumps, he knows that you're in here somewhere, and so, uh, <coughs> it really, <coughs> it really does get kind of hard. Um, so let's change my batteries really quick.
Alright, looks safe enough. Alright, now we've got to find that main breaker. Maybe it's in that last locked door. I just hope that it is. Alright, it's not that way, I know that. Hopefully it's in... Okay, that's where we came. Um... I think it might be in here. There are some batteries. Awesome, that makes me feel better. Still scary and creepy though. Alright, so I actually haven't been down this hallway. I bet you it's somewhere down here. Yep, I bet it's in here. Yep, I see it. Please be light. Okay, so now I have to get back to that main control panel, I think. Alright, so I'm doing good on batteries. Okay, now I know where everything is. That helps a ton. That helps, like, so much. You don't even know. Can't tell if he's in here or not. I mean, I think he is. I kind of am hearing some stuff. Oh, yep, he's in here. Okay, he seems so peaceful, but he's scary. Alright, I'll we'll just take our time. Be patient. We have three batteries. I know where some more are, but I think that I'm just going to try to get out of here as fast as I can. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to play it safe and keep my video camera on, but, alright, so if I can remember where we came, I think we came from the left, no, oh no, here he comes, okay, that was scary, good thing I have better vision than him. So once he sees you, you are screwed. You can't fight him. You can't really do anything to save yourself. Alright, so let's wait for him to pass. And then... Come on, dude. You've got to pass. Alright, there he is. He's coming in. Look how creepy he is. Sorry, I just want to see what way he goes when he leaves. Alright, awesome. So now we should be safe to hurry and go the rest of the way. Alright, awesome. I wish I could go faster. I mean, maybe I can. I forgot how to sprint if I can sprint. Is he not going to come for me? Alright, so now we're basically back to where we were. We just got the lights back on. This dude has created chaos for us. This game is scary. Finally, we have light again, though. That helps so much. 
I wish we could run. I would so much rather run than do this, but the game is back. Yes, um, I have a lot of other games I need to upload right now, though. I'm sorry, guys, but this game is still on hold. Um, I announced that it will be on hold for uh, quite a while. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't inject me. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. <laughs> Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the. It's weird to think this dude is human. He does not seem human. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so this game. It's fun, it really is, and I. Do want to bring it to you but like I said I've got to put it on pause just for a while not pause but maybe a video every three weeks if that's okay I'm sorry but freaking yes I am so glad we got out of that basement that took a lot of doing on camera and off camera all right so that dude is human that's weird to think he seems like a freaking giant now we're like locked up in this claustrophobic room. At least that's what it looks like. Did he take my video camera? He better not have taken that. That's like all I have. Oh, there it is. Alright, so do I still have my batteries? Alright, let's read some notes. Oh, put this thing away. I think that's how I do it, right? Notes. Father Martin sells. The priest, Father Martin, was brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batch is crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernick... Wernick, yeah, that's what it is. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Alright, let's see if there's any documents we haven't read. Alright, there's two actually. Alright, so it says to Helen Grant from or from Helen Grant to some email address. Subject Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wall Wall Rider remains strategic staggeringly high. The four facilities contain enough ambi ambiguous data to make any litigation. Litig oh, I can't say that word. Litigation sounded like out like a first grader. If ev if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the the patients is so low as to make any cho chance of legal action vanishingly unlike vanishingly unlikely violence among patients is increasingly is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit respectfully helen grant murkoff legal mitigation department Alright, sorry guys, I can't say half these words are like weird diseases and stuff, but I'm going to try to read these slow so I don't slaughter them because you guys should be able to read them if you have your quality turned up. Um, but I'm going to read them to you anyways. Alright, so it says, McCultra Program CIA Document Number 190691, Page 1 Excerpt, 2 File Subject Hypnotic Experimentation and Research, February 10, 1954. On Wednesday, 10th, Feb 10th of February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Ma Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. Uh, Post-hypnotic post of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and P. 
Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggest with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously re expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to waken um, Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to, sorry, let me turn the page, the letter including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay. Sorry, I should stay on top of those. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, doesn't he know I'm in here? He should at least. Okay, this room is scary. But we are going to leave it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching part 5 in my Outlast series. I do want to finish this game. I too bad this insane asylum was overrun. You would think that the police would come up and shut it down or something. Cause there's obviously dudes like this creepy guy over here trying to wreak havoc. And well, I guess he's not trying to wreak havoc, but whatever. And so there will be more hopefully in a couple weeks. Um, I just gotta get some. I want to start. I have like four games that I have that I need to start. But I want to finish up some other games first, and I need to get some Red Dead done, and I've got a whole bunch of videos I've got to put out right now. And so I'm sorry that I've got to put this on hold. Um, this just seems like the most logical series to do. It's kind of, it's just going to be like a back series. I might have said that at the beginning. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I do like this game. Um, I might actually like it better than some of the other games I'm playing right now, but maybe not. Um... But yeah, this will be the last PS4 video for a while after this. I'm switching over to Xbox 360 for a couple, or for about a week, and you guys don't care about that, obviously. But yeah, so Xbox 360 is probably next in line after this, if I stay true to my word. Um, I want to go play some Red Dead. I haven't done that for a while. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and a favorite. We will see what happens next time. Sorry that it's going to be a while until the next part. But you can go watch my other videos in the meantime. I have hundreds of them. 600 and something, some odd number. And subscribe. I have new videos every single day. That 600 will just keep getting bigger. And eventually lead to a thousand, then a million, then a trillion. Probably not, but still. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all very, very soon.